10 ways to benefit from the most amazing Mars and Jupiter conjunction. I am in drikpanchang.com and the dates are 12th July to 26th of August. 12th July 26th August 2024. Mars and Jupiter will be conjunct in the sign of Taurus. Victory. <laughs> Number 2. The second sign in the Kalpurush Kundli. Vrishabh Rashi. Very, very, very important. As you know, Jupiter is already in the sign of Taurus and is in Rohini Nakshatra currently. So Mars will join this planet and both are very good friends. They are in the same category of Sudas. So this is a great transi transit indeed. But how can you benefit from this? How should you plan your life? So there are 10 things which you can do. Now, these things may happen automatically in your life or you may do it yourself. Either ways, you can uh, harness the energy to benefit from it, all right? But as usual, if you're new, you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch my other videos on Mars and Jupiter. Jupiter remedies especially because that will also help you during this transit because Mars, as you know, is a natural malefic, right? So you might do the Jupiter remedies to strengthen this conjunction. You can also do Venus remedies because... This is the sign of Taurus, which is ruled by Venus, all right? And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to share it with somebody who needs it. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And also, if you want a personalized consultation from me regarding this transit or career or marriage or health, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. <laughs> all right, 10 ways to benefit from this transit. The first way is always to do financial planning. Why? Because Mars is the original Lagna Lord. So it is like Lagna Lord is coming to the second house, conjunct the ninth Lord, because Jupiter is the original ninth Lord, right? So you can do enhanced financial planning. No, because Mars has this energy and drive, you know, Mars has this passion and Jupiter has expansive vision, right? Jupiter, wherever Jupiter is, there will be expansion. And Taurus is the sign of stability, security. So you need to reassess and refine your goals. Maybe redefine your financial goals with, you know, increased clarity. And you should focus on saving and investing, not just saving. Invest and focus on long-term investments, okay? Number two, you should capitalize on different career opportunities like trying to get a new job or trying to... Uh, go into freelancing or you know doing collaborations okay because mars is a very assertive planet and jupiter is a planet of optimism so imagine when assertiveness and optimism mixes there's magic right so therefore take on different leadership roles or showcase your skills not to increase chances of new promotion so whenever there's an opportunity or there's a gap in your senior management try to uh, prove to your company that you are the best person for the job all right remember this is a conjunction of a benefic and a malefic. So, unless you put efforts, you will not get it. This is not Jupiter Venus where somebody calls you and tells you, hey, it's out there. Please come and take it. No, it's not. It's Mars. It's brutal, right? Although it is, he's a Sura, but he is a malefic, which means he makes things tough. Okay, so you got to work for it, sir. It won't come for free. But because Jupiter is there, if you work, you will get benefited immensely, all right? So take on new opportunities and new roles voluntarily. Don't wait for others to call you, all right? Number three that you can do is invest in property. Mars is the Karaka for property real estate along with Saturn. And Taurus, as you know, represents, you know, stability, home and assets and all these things, right? So therefore, you could consider buying a property or you could also buy land. You know, Mars is more of the land. And that can give you long-term potential goals. And if in your dasha you are running Mercury dasha, you might go into commercial property. You know, if you are running uh, Venus, you could go into some luxury property or, you know, buy a property and do Airbnb and be in that, you know, after doing some cosmetic repair. So these are things which you can do to capitalize, okay? And if it is Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, Dasha that you are running, you could buy an under construction property and then, you know, capitalize on it later on after two to three years. So this is a great period to invest in property nonetheless, okay? So capitalize on it if you are interested. Yes. Number four, you can capitalize on starting any new venture. 
So if you have a nine to five job, you want to now enter into the freelancing market. This is a perfect time because Mars is the karaka for any initiatives and Jupiter is the karaka for blessings and fortune. So if you want to start a side hustle on the side and uh, over maybe a YouTube channel or you want to do something in Instagram, hold a webinar in LinkedIn or you know, do something new, <laughs> mark a presence for yourself, then this is the best time. Okay, so launch new businesses or projects with increased chances of success and expansion. So, Guru is the Karaka for the 11th house and Mars is the Lagmesh. So, when these two combine, there is great visionary leadership which will come. All right. So, try to expand in different ventures and you will be successful to the extent your Dasha agrees. All right. Don't forget that. <laughs> Number five. Mars, as you know, is the Lagnesh and Guru is the uh, Karka for the 11th and the 9th and he's also the original Ninth Lord, right? So therefore, uh, you should focus on building your networks and alliances. So try to go into different networking events, you know. Um, this is brilliant. Like just recently, I know somebody who went to a networking event and they found some connections which they they could have found like you know two three years back if they went and imagine losing two three years of your life doing not much and then realizing oh i could have done this two three years back if only i had gone to this networking event because there you get connections and you meet somebody you know suppose you are in abroad and uh, you, you meet somebody from india or you know so any part of the world you are anywhere and you get some common connections okay so this can actually help you so go to professional networking events, go to spiritual communities, you know, and uh, go to networking events to discover new opportunities and do collaborations, okay? Number six, try to pursue higher education or intense training. Guru is the target of our education and Mars is the target of our training, okay? So therefore, Guru represents knowledge and Mars represents motivation. So imagine both of them combined. So you should focus on skill development or, you know, get a PhD or a master's or at least uh, try to think in that domain. So further education, professional training uh, can open new doors to career advancements and uh, your savings, okay? Your savings can increase, your earnings can increase, your investments can increase, okay? So use this period to develop yourself and become your best version, very important. Number seven, take some financial risks. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advice. Please do your own due diligence before investing. Was it right? <laughs> Please comment below if you felt this was right. <laughs> All right. You can take financial risks. All right, because Mars is the karaka for boldness and Jupiter is the karaka for optimism and luck. But depending on your financial status, if you have... 10,000 rupees in your bank account. Don't put it into penny stocks. Don't do it. <laughs> I know people in their, you know, beginning early 20s or late teens, you know, 18, 19, they got some 5, 10,000 rupees. Oh, I'll put it in this penny stock. It will be down 100x. No, I'm not saying that. But if you, had a, if you have a good corpus and, you know, you can put like, you know, 1 or 2 or 5% of it into you know, small caps or, you know, you can take some risk or do some trading, you know, that, that can help you, provided you do it with proper due diligence and consultation with a financial advisor, okay? But it is important you take risks. Otherwise, uh, you will not be able to grow your portfolio okay, rapidly. But do it with proper research. Only invest in companies which have good fundamentals and not in, you know, meme coins or penny stocks, okay? So, uh, go and invest, but with proper due diligence and take risks, okay? Number eight, try to improve your work environment. Try to build relationships with people in your existing work environment. Now, many times I see people are focusing on too many things like, you know, doing networking, 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 which is fine. As I already said, networking is one of the things you should do. But many a times what happens is we are more obsessed with, you know, bringing more new contacts into our life. And just because superficially, we get some help from them or, you know, it, it, it's like just everybody is doing and it benefits me. Well, that's fine. Nothing wrong with it. But you need to understand. And in the long run, all these superficial things will not help you. So you have to improve on, you have to focus on building genuine long-term relationships with people. So, and that starts with your colleagues, your business partners, your 
you know, if you are a YouTuber, it starts with building relationship with other YouTubers. Okay, so therefore, uh, try to enhance your workplace and build strong, genuine relationships. Invite each other for lunch, dinner, and uh, meet each other's families and become a person of value, you know, not just professionally, okay? It won't drag you long, okay? But if you become a man of value overall, you become a dharmic person, not not just religious, but dharmic, which means you you become an overall contributor to people's lives, you know, materially, spiritually, financially, emotionally, intellectually, then you will be a man of value and you'll be loved and respected by all. Number nine, Mars is the Karaka for the first house. I mean, he's the origin of first lord and he's the Karaka for the sixth house also, right? So therefore, you should focus on your health because now Guru is the ninth lord. So Mars is physical energy and Guru is clarity. So it might be that you, know, you are facing some uh, problems in your body. You have some diseases or illness or disorders and you are not able to find the solution. Now maybe is the time that you find cure, okay? You might have clarity in regards to what you should do, which doctor you should visit. Should you go to allopathy or try Ayurveda or homeopathy, naturopathy? Or what kind of exercise should you do? What kind of diet should you follow? You know, Try to hire a gym trainer or a yoga instructor if possible because Guru is the guide basically, okay? So therefore... Do things which can boost your physical health and gain mental clarity. All right. Very, 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 very important. Mental clarity is also paramount. Don't forget it. All right. So therefore, try to read books, educate yourself about you know, different things and you will be you will be uh, a much better person to interact with and to be with. Okay. All right. Last but not the least, engage in spiritual practices. All right. This should actually be number one. <laughs> Why? Because Guru is the ninth lord, he is the Karga for the ninth house, and Mangal is the Lagna lord, and he's the Karga for the sixth house of discipline, practices, and you know, Brahmacharya and all this. So try to uh, try to have good relationships with members of your spiritual community. Try to chant mantras regularly. Try to do Yagyas. Mars represents fire, you know, and Mars is the Karga for fire, Yagya, and all these things. So you know, try to do penances, you know, try to tapasya, austerity, you know, try to do fasting, try to follow ekadashis, you know, try to, uh, the month of Savan is coming, okay, Savan Mass is coming, I think it's from 22nd July to uh, 19th of August, if I'm correct, yes. So, therefore, try to utilize this period, not just for your financial, you know, or uh, health uh, prospects, but also for your spiritual life, okay, it will, it will take you miles ahead, okay. So therefore, focus on building relationship with your Guru and with God, all right, and members of the spiritual community, your God brothers and your God sisters, because remember, they are your ultimate savers. Because at the end of life, as Krishna says in the Gita, at the end of life, whatever you remember, that state you shall attain without fail, O son of Kunti, Arjuna. <laughs> all right, so therefore, Please understand, this is a great period for becoming a better individual and capitalize on this and don't waste a single moment of this transit. All right, please take care. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody if you enjoyed this content. And for personalized consultations, please visit the website down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Thank you. Take care. Jai Siaram. Jai Jagannath.